Hi, Chris. How you doing? I've got your work up, and actually, I have the big versions up. Um, <clears throat> let me see. There's one. There's one. Okay, so I can get rid of these. Let's get rid of those. Okay, now I have your work up, and I just want to say that wow, you're doing very well. I'm I'm really excited for you. Um, I, I am. You're you're doing really well with type. Really well. I, outstanding. Good job, man. I'm loving it. Okay, a couple of suggestions here. Um, this is good. You rounded that out to create this kind of continuation between the O here and then the hook. And I see that you've kind of parlayed on that over here on this page. And I don't know if, I think it's a little overkill. Um, I, I do, I do. I think there's going to be some other techniques for your pull quotes that are going to be a lot more interesting than, you know, just, I mean, you, you get the idea, you get the idea of continuation and that's wonderful. A lot of students don't until a little bit later on. So you're getting it. That's awesome. And you're using it. That's, that's even more awesomer. And that, yes, I, I did say awesomer. So what I'm saying is this, Let, let's, let's try something here. Okay. See this outer, See this outer ring, um, the purple? Can we just get rid of that and just change the color of the O and make that, you know, just a continuation of the, this hook? So, so we don't have this kind of oversized overemphasis of the, the top, you know, the, the O, the, I mean, the uh, top of the hook around the O. Do, do you see what I'm saying? It's kind of simplify that a little bit. It'll, the, the message is there. It, it's not going to get lost. Okay, next suggestion is, is I, you know, I'd like to see you do this. I, I, let me do this. Let me just jump over to some examples. You know how I love my examples. So I, I let me see, where did I go? Over here, I just, I, I got us a bunch of examples up here of different, different arrangements for pull quotes. And as you can see, I mean, they can be really in, interesting, intriguing, if if not is, you know, a better word. Um, I mean, look at these. These are gorgeous. This one spans two columns. That one's using an oversized quote mark. This one is, again, it's, it's, it's not spanning two columns, but it's placed right smack dab in the middle of two columns. That's interesting. Um, that is really interesting. You know, I mean, there's a lot of ways. To, I'm not saying copy any of these, or I'm not saying try to work something in that doesn't fit the, get the concept. Um, but I'm just saying that I, I, I think there could be a more interesting visual solution than this. So think about, just think about it. And also, you don't need two pull quotes. I mean, you could... You could very easily continue this. You could turn this into one pull quote easily with a comma um, or a semicolon or whatever. You know, just uh, think about it. Just work on it. Work on it. Okay. Um, you know, I was thinking about maybe asking you to pull your your the the, the uh, um, your column heads down to like maybe align it with the bottom of hook. Try that. I just think maybe it would be a nice little rest in between this composition here and then, you know, going to the type. I think it might be a little visual rest because right now you, this is really super dense for a first page of, a, of an article. Also, watch your space between. I, this looks like it's a little large. That definitely looks larger than this. But check those because they, they, they're appearing a little bit. I mean, I say in general, close them down a little bit in general. Anyways, hanging punctuations, look it up. Look up the word hanging quotes. Really important to your type. Really, really important. That's something they're going to look at in your portfolio when somebody's coming along and saying, well, this young man knows how to set type. And then they're going to go, oh, wait a second. He just overlooked this. So, so it's just a little nuance that it really, really portfolio reviewers and hiring professionals love to look at stuff like that when they see a hanging quote they're like oh right you know what i'm saying all right so anyways 
Uh, outstanding. I, this is just, I love this. That is nice. That's really nice. Um, a little tight kerning over here. This is really, really super densely packed. I, I highly recommend opening that up a little bit. Um, the cover is beautiful. It is nice combination of, of, of um, this decorative type and then this, this classic sans serif. Good job. Um, and then this is really super interesting. So this would be that this would open like this. They go open like this, like a French door, like right. Okay. So, and then this is what we get an inside. Yeah. So then, then that would be the back. Okay. So and then the inside a couple of comments here, look at, see these margins here. All right. See how that right there needs to be consistent over here. So you've got your, your type and your images creeping right up to the fold there. And that's going to be a problem. I suggest trying to get a little bit more even on your um, your margins. This margin here looks like, look how big that is. And then look how tiny that is. So think about that. Um, I, you know how I feel. I've talked about Greeking or lorem ipsum or ipsum lorem or however you want to call it. I've talked about that in typography. And, and I'm I'm against it. I'm against it. I don't think it looks right. And and plus it just, you know what? I review hundreds of portfolios a year. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I see Greeking like this, I just go, oh, lazy designer. And, and I'm just being honest with you. I'm, that's what I immediately think inside my head. And, and even though, you know, it, it just, to me, it just seems like, you know, come on, seriously. All right. Consistency. Um, you're using this as your headline. Why don't you just go ahead and keep up, keep up the, the theme? Um, that's up to you. It's okay. I get it that these are sidebars. So so that's up to you. Um, but you're used to it everywhere else. Try it. See how it looks. Um, you need a space or you've got this two space indent here. Um, but I, you know what? Your, your paragraphs, you're going to the thing about grief. Your paragraphs are so short. You got, this is once three lines, this is three lines, th four lines. So, so with paragraphs that tiny, that, I don't know about this, just the, you know, just the end that I, I mean, I would just go ahead and leave that and put a space between um, if your paragraphs are that short, because look, it's all these little tiny short paragraphs are just decimating your left, left margin. So think about that. Um, this looks good. I think this is a great idea, but watch your, 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 your columns here because this type goes so far out. Rags are terrible here. See that? Remember? Rags, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. This is not good. Um, um, but you have, uh, and then here you have your paragraph end, and there's no indent here or space between here. So that would be an inconsistent uh, typographic decision. Um, I am seeing some some interesting grid work here. So you got basically this would be, and that's what I started to say. So watch your column here. But anyways, if you were to like chop this up and do the math, basically you have a three column grid here and you've spanned two columns down here. So that's a really interesting, very interesting choice. Good job. Um, the image, I wouldn't use this cutout. If you do, clean it up. Go in an illustrator and clean up those. See all those little stray marks? They're immediately indicative of um, illustrator's uh, live trace or <clears throat> image trace or Photoshop's cutout filters. So I'm fine using it. Just go in there and try to do something like simplify those. Because once you start seeing those patterns, it's like, boom, that was done in illustrator with the live trace. And again, that you would, I would, I would look at this if I was reviewing a portfolio. I'd go, well, this designer stopped and never took the time to 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 address this area right here. Okay, in the back, now the back is, um, I don't know if you purposely left the information off of here, but I mean, you don't have street names or anything. You don't have any kind of directions or this is this back is just really really unfinished. Okay, and then again, now you've got just so tight. Look how tight that kerning is. Just so tight, you can barely even read it. And again, you still have that tight kerning there. So, all right, awesome job, man. Really, really good job. 
Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks.